Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I hope you all had a nice weekend. I had a great weekend. I just got back from walking my dog. And I decided to, while it's late, I decided to have breakfast outside. With uh, the birds, the bees, the leaves, and the trees. Thank you, Ralph Smart. Infinite Waters. It was a glorious day. Give me a moment while I... <clears throat> I've got my boom. I'm having my coffee. I'm feeling so beautiful and so blessed today. I'm living from my heart space. This is a continuation on this channel of my journey. How I got from way back there to right here. <clears throat> And I've got my oils, my Awaken, and my Valor for Courage. Valor is one of my favorites. Okay, flies. Flies are not welcome. Yes, you're part of the eco, but uh, no thanks. I prefer to eat breakfast without you. Sorry, I bumped the table. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, okay. So... As I said, I hope everyone enjoyed their weekend. I certainly did. I spent a lot of time outdoors, meditating and journaling. It's absolutely awesome. So what I want to talk to you guys about today. Embracing my coastal grandma. Little gal that inspired me on TikTok. Lexi Nicole. Or Lex Nicole. I believe it's Lexi Nicole. She's awesome. Absolute beautiful girl. Anyway. How did I get to where I am right now? As you guys all know, I got divorced, but things were starting to change for me inside back when I was married. I had two children. He and I were together for 32 and a quarter years, and we dated for a very long time. I realize now when I think back of uh, us, you know, you know, you know why as you get older and wiser, when you decide to tap in and listen to your heart, listen to your gut, because guess what, you guys, your gut never lies, never. You start to think about the choices you make. Um, you start to think before you speak. You start to go back and think why you did what you did. You said what you said. You, you start growing. You start becoming the person that you were meant to be. Right? It's, it's weird. <clears throat> Uh, about us souls in these human bodies you know going through this human role it's funny because it's almost as if you come into this life backwards if that makes sense and then you spend your life you know living the life playing you know slash playing the role 
and then becoming who you've been all along. Well, that was me, or that is me, I'm going to say to you all. I mean, I always knew it. It was always, we always know. And see, our soul knows the way. That's it. Uh, that, that's solid. The, the soul knows. And so when you come into these human bodies, like I said, you forget everything. And so by doing the living, you start learning. You start to relearn. And this little gut of yours is the barometer. And when you feel good, you know you're going the right way. You know you're doing the right thing. You know you're thinking the right things. It's an overall feeling that you get. I know you know what I mean. And when you are doing certain things or being with certain people or having a particular job, and it doesn't feel good, that speaks volumes, right? Well, I realize why my former husband and I were together. We got together to teach each other that number one, life is a lesson or a blessing? And I have to thank him and all the things that I went through. Sorry, I'm looking at myself. Because I learned, I learned, I learned so much from being married to this person. I learned that I needed to value myself more. You know, you know your self-worth. <clears throat> Learn to love yourself. Know who you are. Um, I've always told my children, don't get off your bicycle. It has places to go. You could also say, don't let someone else drive your car. It's a, a what do you call it? It's a, um, giving you a, a, a picture of, of, what do you call it, a metaphor? <laughs> Don't let somebody else take the wheel of your life. Allow Jesus to take the wheel. Allow the divine to take the wheel. Because that is supreme. That is royal. That is as royal as this lavender shirt that I'm wearing this purple on this bottle of valor and the lavender on the awaken the divine is royalty i've given my life as i sit here i have given my life back there's little things floating around pardon me back to the divine and i ain't looking back because it is the way the truth and the light. I am allowing the divine to take the steering wheel of my car and the handlebars of my bike, but I also have taken those back. I gave them away, you guys, for whatever reason, I gave them away and I gave them away to my former husband. And it was a big mistake. I'm not saying that I didn't love him. I did, there was a time that I dearly loved him. But I soon knew, I'm waving flies, sorry. I'm outside. I soon knew that what we lived together was not love, it was not love. I was not living my authentic self. What am I always telling you about authenticity? It rules. It rocks. Your life will not work if you are not living your truth. That's when 
Your human life will suck rocks. Put your lips around a rock. You're not gonna get far. It was horrible. And <clears throat> the first seven years, call it seven year itch, I don't know, whatever you call it, go away flies, I'm replenishing my coffee, forgive me, one moment, I've got my other cup that I pour in my, in my teacup, helps you manifest when you dress the part, use your cups, Fix your, fix your face, fix your hair. I was fixed up this morning, but to walk my dog, I wear my t-shirts. But I keep the purple color. Anyhow. The first seven years. <clears throat> I was in a little fool's paradise. As Lucy says. A foolish paradise. Yeah, that was me. And um, it's when I soon discovered my husband was not with me. He was not 100% with me. He was doing other things. Anyway. But I panicked. And I stopped remembering who I was. And... I vowed to put my head down and keep him in my life because I felt like, oh no, it, it's my marriage. I must do everything in my power to hold on to this. Forsaking myself, there's something skewed about that. See, and in my healing process, I'm going back and I'm realizing a lot of things about my childhood. A lot of things, things that weren't right. My mother and father didn't stay together. But I had people that were extremely abusive to me. And I'm talking not just family, but um, school teachers. You know, other adults in my life that did things that we're not okay. And I stayed somewhere. I learned to stay quiet. I learned to keep my mouth shut and not speak so much so that you guys, my seventh grade history teacher said to me in third person, you know, when you're talking to somebody, but you're talking at them. You could throw a brick at Teresa and she wouldn't say anything. Well, at the time, I laughed. But trust me, deep inside, and at night when I laid in my bed, and I said my prayers, I cried. I cried my eyes out because I thought, what? This is not the way life is supposed to be. What the heck is going on? Fourth grade teacher who was physically abusive to me, with me, in front of my classmates. She slapped me. She pulled my hair. I had long hair down to my butt. And my mother would put it up on top of my head, you know, helping me get ready for school. And this woman would grab a hold of the top knot on my head and shake it really hard. And it would spill down in my face. And the class was either silent or they laughed. And I just stood there, terrified, petrified to breathe because I thought, well, she's my teacher. I must have done something to deserve this. I, you know, I'm doing my healing work, my shadow work. And I'm trying to understand where this came from. But I'll tell you something right now. I am coming out of it, man. I am coming out of that. And that ain't no more. 
That is no more because that is not me. Don't let anybody tell you that. Don't let anybody drive your car or control the handlebars of your bicycle except for Holy Spirit, the divine. <clears throat> Pardon me. They're the only ones that have any right in your life like that. Because when you do the right thing and you put them first, that is the gateway to everything. That is the gateway to your happiness. That is the gateway to your success. I might, I'm running up on my time, so I'm going to close this one out. And I'm going to come back to this one where I left off with you guys and tell you that excuse me I adore coffee but it makes me burp get outside if you don't do it you better start doing it get outside if you can put your bare feet on the ground imagine like I keep telling you roots attaching from the bottom of your feet into the earth and grabbing a hold of the earth you are one with the earth we all are one with the earth okay to be continued i love you all treat yourself have breakfast outdoors sit outside put music in your ears or let the nature be your music let nature be and that's noise that's a sign to stop now <laughs> let nature be okay and you be I wish you all love and peace and light, and I will be back. Have a blessed day. I love you all, and love yourself. Bye-bye.